Hey guys, Brandy here. Um, welcome to Sewing Back. Um, we are in the greenhouse and um, this is going to kind of get tagged on to another video that I shot on Saturday because uh, it's kind of relevant to it. So Saturday um, afternoon, our uh, the community, the city that's like right next to the city, our hometown that we live in, um, had, uh, well, they actually built, I think it was last year they broke ground. I want to say it was, I think it was last May, April, May, something like that. They broke ground on, um, the Ackworth Community Gardens. And it's a little section off of one of the parks in, uh, the city, in the downtown area. And, um, it's a community garden. It's run by volunteers. It was actually started by two ladies who felt the need that it was important to, to have some food security for, um, it's an elderly, um, kind of like a nursing home, um, that they provide fresh produce out of the garden for. And I thought, that's just fabulous. And so they went through the process of getting this started and so it's still kind of in its baby stages as it is um, kind of coming together. But they have already, um, the garden is already fenced in. You'll see in the video, I took some clips of it. Um, they already have raised beds. They have um, composting in place. Uh, they did, they have drip irrigation to the beds. And um, it, it just, really really nice it's just a really nice thing that's um been put together and we need more of these these spaces in our parks and our churches and apartment neighborhoods any place where um there might be food insecurity for folks and that's a lot of places and so uh there's great that there's so many food pantries um my youngest, he's been helping out off and on this year when he's been available with a food pantry. He has volunteer hours he has to meet for his school requirements. And um, he's been helping with that food pantry. Um, and he was there this past weekend and there's just, there's a lot of need. And um, so in any way like that, that we can do, it is worth doing. And you know, so many people think about the great manicured lawns and all the pretty landscapes and stuff, but you know, it really doesn't take that much space away to grow a community garden. And they can be just as beautiful, if not more beautiful, and supply much needed food. So, um, the reason we went over there was because they had a free, uh, it was like a seed um, swap. It was more than seeds. They had starts, seeds, cuttings, um, you name it. There was so many different things that people had brought in, and some of it was food, some were herbs, some were uh, bushes and grasses and shrubs, and, um, and of course, like I said, they had some seeds and stuff. And so that's the reason I'm out here in the greenhouse today. I will show you a couple of my finds. This was one. Look at this beautiful bronze fennel. Is that not gorgeous? Well, I did bring out, I got some daikon radish seeds. I don't know if I'll get those planted today, but th this. <clears throat> so they had these in a bag. And they had some little cute little envelopes that look like this. And um, what this is you can see it. Ooh, I'm dropping them. These are called blackberry lilies. And so everybody was talking about them. I looked them up when I was there and they are this it has this beautiful orange flower that looks kind of like it has blackberries um seeds like in the in the petals. It was really beautiful. And um so I read up on it. So everybody who wanted some were able to get some. So I got some and then I looked it up and they have to be cold stratified. So what that means is that I took these strawberry um, 
from the grocery store that you know your strawberries will come in and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some of my soil in here and to strata stratify it I'm going to put my seeds it says to plant them about a fourth of an inch deep and um, and then I'm going to because this has a lid if it didn't have a lid you could use like plastic wrap or um, like a like a I guess storage bag or something like that but this has like a little lid so I'm not gonna do that I do think I'm gonna sit it inside like a plastic grocery bag because it's gonna go in my downstairs refrigerator and it's gonna have soil and it does have you know some little openings but I want to try to plant some of these so it says you're supposed to plant them like I said a fourth of an inch deep in pre-moistened soil so I have to get my soil a little damp um, and then I'm gonna close it up you're supposed to close it up if you'd like said it doesn't have like this kind of lid then you you can use plastic wrap and we're gonna put it in the refrigerator for two weeks and then after that two weeks we can take it out and we can put it in a sunny window seal I probably will bring it out here into the greenhouse and then it says it can take about two to three weeks to germinate and I'll probably put it on a heat mat out here just because the temperatures at night might be you know they can dip down or whatever and then once they get going you can plant them out about 12 inches apart um, in your landscape so I want to try to do this I've never grown this before and I thought this would be really cool so I'm gonna get this going and then this another one that I got most of the other ones were summer seeds that I got um, but I got some like I said some daikon radish which is really good if you end up doing some making your own kimchi a lot of people like to put that in it um, and I'm also hoping to get a few things planted we have a freeze a frost warning tonight it's supposed to freeze so we've been John's covering trees we're putting stuff some things I've put I've got a few blueberries in here I'll show you that have blooms so I have brought them into the greenhouse I'll seal it up I still have my my snapdragons that are I'm just letting them be and then these are all cold weather so I think they'll be fine and these were my finds from the community sale so they're doing okay I've watered everything in really well um, so I'm not really worried about the, that stuff it'll be okay our other stuff we have put in um, the garage we've moved in a lot of blueberries because they're they're blooming right now our early blueberries and we have covered our crab apple tree which is Full of blooms our peach trees have already bloomed out our, our peach apricot almond yeah and almond they have all already blossomed out and they have leaves so they don't have any blo active blossoms on them so I don't think we're gonna cover those um, we're really only supposed to if we get down to freezing it's only supposed to be freezing for a couple hours um, so I'm not even going to worry about like any of my outside, my brassicas. I mean, those are frost tolerant. It's not that cold for that long. So I'm not real worried about it. And I've harvested a lot of the collard greens the other day. That's going to be an upcoming video. We're going to use that. We're going to use that Nesco canner and we are going to can collard greens, baby. So stay tuned for that one. That's going to be good. I'm super excited about it. And I'm trying to think what else. I have out there oh, the only other one I'm really kind of worried about is my comfrey only because it's cut blossoms on it like it's fixing to bloom so I probably will put some frost cloth on it and hope <laughs> okay, so I got these planted up in these strawberry I'm just recycling them you could probably do it with any kind you had, whether strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, uh, salad. You know, if you get those plastic salad containers, you can you, you can do a lot of things. So, I'm going to put um, blackberry lily on here. And today is um, March 13th. 
So I'm going to put 313, 23, because this is going to go in my refrigerator. I am going to put them in like a little plastic grocery bag because I don't want soil getting in my refrigerator. Um, blackberry lily. And I think I planted eight. I put, tried to get two seeds in each in each thing, so we'll see. We'll see how that comes up. I've never done this before. I'm hoping they'll come up. Um, one of the guys at the seed swap said he did it last year and his came up, so that's all you can do is try. So I've got these labeled and dated, and so these will go in my refrigerator for two weeks, and then I'll kind of show you the pro progress as we go through and see if it works. <laughs> If it didn't work I don't know um, but I'm excited to try and if it does and I get 16 plants that I got for free so be looking looking check at your local library um, and your local uh, extension offices for these types of seed swaps master gardeners are doing a lot of classes right now in a lot of the libraries I'm hoping to go to one on growing your own tea and making herbal teas in the next few weeks um, but there's all kinds of free information out there for you to go and learn particularly if you're somebody who has a learning style that does really well to go in person to be able to touch things and see things and and go through the process and have someone walk you through it um, take advantage of those kinds of things because um, I mean, they're not free. Your tax dollars are going to pay for the libraries and all the places where all this stuff is hosted. But use them. Use that to your your advantage. But I'm excited to give these a try. I actually put my information down for the, com the Ackworth Community Center. Um, I'm hoping that maybe at some point I can volunteer um, to help them do some stuff. And... Um, and yeah, so that's just, that was so much fun over the weekend. It was really exciting. We got to share some um, apple cuttings that John had done, he, a couple fig cuttings. We did a few elderberry. We still hadn't totally pruned our elderberry trees um, because the weather, we ran out of good weather. So it rained really bad all day yesterday. And now it's really cold. So maybe tomorrow I'll finish pruning. He started, we just didn't get finished. But now I've got to go... I want to try to get these seeds done really quickly um, and because tape is so easy if you've never seen the tape let me show you real quick and I think usually it has like two and buy these when they're on sale like tractor supply and places will put them on sale so this one has three it has three things of tape and um, I'm not sure, I know you're supposed to plant these about half an inch deep, um, but I see it even tells you on the tape, I don't know if you can see that, but it even tells you what it is, um, but it's, you open it up and it has the seed on it. And you just lay it out flat in the bed and then you cover it with a half inch of the soil. You want to keep that soil moist. So it's really helpful like if you put, sorry, the sun setting. Um, if you put like a damp cardboard over it until it germinates, um, that will help. But this is already thinned out so that it has the proper amount of space in between each seed. Because carrot seeds are teeny tiny. And they are a pain to have to go and thin after the fact. But March is really about the latest you want to get carrots planted. Um, otherwise, you're going to really want to wait, well, where I'm at. Because it will get too warm. And um, then, so then you would wait till fall or late summer, early fall to try to plant some to get, you know, carrots throughout fall, winter. And which is what I have growing now and but I want to have another harvest so um, so anyway I'm wanting to go get some of the stuff planted and um, these are things that you don't have to plant in any kind of planters you just direct sow these I will say peas need some kind of a trellis but you can do like cane poles you can 
you can do it do it from you know if you have some branches you could make like a little try you know tie it up at the top so it has something to trellis up um, that it would grab hold you could use a tomato cage um, so and put them in a pot I mean you can do these however you want I've actually seen some people who have planted them in green stalks so just saying um, <laughs> if that is your thing I'm not gonna put these in my green stalks and um, I got too many other things to put in my green stalks but anyway so we want to get to this before I run out of light I will keep you posted on the blackberry lilies and I'm hoping that they work because they sure were pretty I think that would be so 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 cool so anyway with that I, I hope you have a great day thank you for watching we appreciate you being here um, if you have not subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing to the channel it really helps us grow our platform um, if you have suggestions please leave them below I actually got some really great uh, info on those Walmart strawberry starts that I did and um, newsflash I actually ordered new strawberry starts from Ison's nursery because I was so not too happy with how those Walmart ones looked and um, after getting some comments um, on the page and then from someone I know who kind of said the same exact thing I I thought better of it today and I ordered me some uh, a different variety I'm really excited to get this variety so I think I'm going to take the ones I potted up in the red uh, green stock and when these come I'll put those in there and I think those other ones I will put maybe in a grow bag in some grow bags or something I don't know yet I hadn't totally decided I may just throw them out on the property and so the deer can eat them <laughs> I don't know yet I'll figure something out but they they didn't look great and um so I I don't want to have spent all of that into my green stock for something that's not going to have a nice yield or taste good and so anyway you live and you learn if you've had great experience with the Walmart ones we'll tell me about it then so but so far that's not what I have heard about the bare root strawberry plants at Walmart so anyway I will say the bulbs though are coming up that I planted very late they are all coming up and so I'm excited about that maybe I'll show you that in the next video anyway with that I will see you later Hey guys, Brandy here. I'm in the truck. <laughs> John and I are headed over to the local community gardens uh, in the city next to our, our city of Kennesaw. Um, honestly, if we walk across the street, we're in that city. We're right there at the line. And they're doing a plant swap um, today. And I have been sharing that information on our Facebook page. And so we have some plants and some cuttings and we are headed over there to see what they have, if anything, um, check it out. So I'll show you how all that goes. Okay guys, I wanted to show y'all, this is the community garden. This garden feeds um, a senior citizen community center. Boy, those are some nice beds. They have drip irrigation. These are blueberries. And they're strawberry beds. I see garlic. <laughs> Look at their little trellis they made. These beds, he said they were getting ready for the warm weather crops in May that they'll put out. These are their cold, cold weather. I wonder if they'll end up putting some shade cloth. I think this is blackberry. I'm pretty sure this looks like blackberry to me. So they've got the other beds. And it looks like the Rotary Club helped get them a shed. This is the Ackworth Community Garden. And two ladies started this. They had a vision. This is so cool. Fantastic. 
And you can see over here, they're brassicas. They got a little pest pressure, as do I. They look really good. And then they have a little trellis right there. I think some of these are lettuces, he said. And more brassicas. This is in the park, and the park allowed them this space. And that is fabulous. Every park should have one of these. So many people have food insecurity, particularly of real food. And the guy who grows the plants was telling me that he's looking at this facility where the seniors are. They have some good soil. They just don't have the physical ability to get down and grow. So he's trying to think, maybe doing some raised beds that they could get involved that are high up off the ground if you have mobility issues. That is fabulous. Churches should have these as well. Beautiful. So I just wanted to include on the back side of it, so over there on the other side of that one bed, they have all kinds of cardboard and they have some down here, but this is their composting. So they are, they're making, or trying to make their, this is still relatively new, so they're trying to make their own compost. And this is fabulous. What a great thing.